like fancy tour buses and wondered who was on it? I have actually, I have wondered that. Well, <laughs> one of those buses was in Mayfield this morning. A local six of Trent Okerson has more on who was on it and what it was doing in our neck of the woods. Most of the time, Mayfield is more like Mayberry. But today, a little piece of Detroit Rock City rolled into town. Members of the KISS Army came out to catch a glimpse of Gene Simmons' Axe Guitar Tour Bus, which was getting dressed up with some new logos from Hawkins Screen Printing. They also got to see some of the band's weapons of rock and roll, all painted by a local artist. This is a new one. This is one uh, Gene wanted me to do, personally asked me to do. About a year ago, after hand-painting a bass guitar as a gift for his childhood rock idol, Mayfield native Gentry Riley got to meet Gene Simmons and his manager at a show in Springfield, Illinois, and was given a monstrous opportunity. They'd like, how many more do you want to paint? <laughs> and that, you know, it kind of went from there. Now, Riley paints a variety of designs on Simmons' custom-made axe bass guitars, bases that are not just for looks, but will be part of an entire experience for KISS fans. If you don't play it on stage, it'll bleed out it, spit out it, and bang it up. And then right from the stage, he hands it to the people who purchased it. Halen says fans that buy one of these guitars get to come on board the tour bus at a KISS show and meet Simmons in person. But I've seen grown men cry when they, on this bus when they meet Gene. I've been keeping up with KISS since I... Riley says seeing his hero on stage playing the basses he painted is like a dream come true. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, that makes it, makes it all worth the endless nights of sleep. In Mayfield, Trent Overson, WPSD, Local 6. I'm not sure if cool is a big enough word to describe <laughs> how cool that is. Well, if you are interested in...